So this is just a quick rundown of the Eucalyptus Mosaic script for Koala. Um, I'm using a MIDI Fighter 3D, uh, an iPad Pro, uh, and AUM. So this only works on iOS, unfortunately. Um, but we'll just get ahead and start a MIDI channel. And we'll add Mosaic to it. We'll also add Koala to there. Add the microphone, set the input uh, coming out from Mosaic into Koala. We'll open up Mosaic here uh, and we'll just load the Eucalyptus 6.0 script. So the way that this works, I'll open up Koala as well, is the goal is to add round robin support and to also add um, like multi-sample velocity support. So the way that I've done that requires a little bit of a setup with the way that your banks are organized. Uh, I'll only do a couple at the moment just to explain it. But on bank A, if we were to record something in like A1, A1, we have A1 there, I'll just boost that up a little bit. And then on bank B in the exact same slot, B1, We'll do the same for C, C1, we'll do the same for D, D1. So now in the same position a, 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 a one. on all banks, we have the same, B. Uh, one shot that, C. one shot that, D. and one shot that. So imagine that this is a symbol or anything that you want to round Robin. It could be a kick, anything like that. Um, A1. In the mosaic script, uh, we tap A1, A1, and that corresponds to A1 in the bottom left. So with mosaic, the way that it's laid out is it goes from top to bottom, uh, left to right. And in koala, it is bottom to top, left to right. Just something to be aware of. So these are the options. I'll just zoom in a little bit here. So the samples. Uh, samples correspond to once you hit a bank. Um, corresponds to how many banks of samples you want to use. So in your uh, sample here, we have four, but you could just have one or three or however many that you wanted up to four. Um, and so you make sure that this samples knob here matches how many samples that you have. Now there's a couple of different options uh, for the round robin mode. So this one is forward. So if I hit, uh, I'll just zoom back out again. If I hit the A1 here, uh, what is going on here? It's not receiving MIDI in. What is going on? Oh, <laughs> need to set the MIDI fighter as a MIDI source. D1, C1, D1, A1, D1, C1, D1. So you'll notice that when I'm hitting each, this same pad each time. D1, D1, C1, D1. It's looping through A1, B1, C1, D1 in a forwards direction, which is what is mapped here, obviously. So if we go backwards or reverse. C1, D1, A1, D1. C1, D1, A1, D1. Great. Uh, if we go to random, it will randomly pick from those four. D1, C1, A1, A1, D1. C1, D1, D1. Uh, then we have weighted. Now, weighted... Uh, has a different uh, set of options with it. So once you've selected weighted, you can hit the shift button and it'll update this to say the bank probability. So if everything is set to 100, regardless of how many samples you have, so if you go down to three samples and hit shift, you'll see only three banks show up here that you can configure. But we'll just go back to four because it shows it off better. Um, if we drop the percentage of B all the way down, C all the way down, and D all the way down. Even though we have four samples, it's only gonna trigger A1. A1, 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 A1. But if we bring up B to 100%, it's now a 50-50 chance of it being A or B. A1, 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 A1. And the same thing. So if you wanted to make it so that your probabilities are that the first bank happens quite frequently, and the second one happens infrequently, then you would just set up your percentages as such. And you can do this with 
every single sample. You just need to hit the pad that you want to configure and then set the probability up. Now, something to note is if you aren't on weighted, hitting shift will not show anything. This is by design. Um, now, the last option is velocity. Now, velocity is very similar to weighted in the way that it works. You hit shift and it will bring up a bunch of pads or knobs here, sorry. So what this is saying is that based on the velocity that's coming in, and for this pad at the moment, it will always send 127. Um, if the velocity that's coming in is greater than A and greater than B and greater than C, and uh, yeah, it, it will do D, so 127. D1. D1, 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 D1. So that's D1, although the start point doesn't make that very clear. D1, D1, D1. There we go, so that's D1. But if we were to bring D down to zero. D1, 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 D1. Bring that down, bring that down. D1, D1, D1. A1, A1, A1. And bring A all the way up to 127. A1, A1. It will always play A1. However, if we make B, 127, and A down to 52, B1, B1, it's always B. So this is useful for setting up a multi-sample. If you wanted to have a kick that varies, uh, that doesn't just attenuate the volume, then you can set up multiple pads in the same position on different banks, and then set up the velocity ranges that you want to trigger each thing. Obviously that doesn't get shown very well on a pad controller that is only configured to send out 127 on every velocity hit. But if you're using a keyboard or you have a velocity sensitive controller, then this is the way that you would set up multi-sample. Um, I don't think that there's anything else in this script to go over feature wise, um, but there is something configuration wise that you may need to look into. So you'll see here uh, on the pad over here, offset. Offset is the MIDI offset for your controller. So the uh, MIDI Fighter 3D, this actually has an offset of 36 B -B 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 for this B -B 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 bottom note. Um, if I had a different offset, then all I would do is go to the offset and change it. So at the moment it's 36. If I change that to 38, A1, 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 B -B 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 you'll see here now, B -B 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 it's now two, oh, sorry, instead of hitting bottom left, it's now two notes up, B1, 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 B1. and that's the A1. B1, B1. Um, you won't hear A1 because it's got the different velocity sensitivity on. But that's the way that that works. So if you notice that your controller doesn't actually work on the bottom or depending upon your layout, it may be top left, bottom left, bottom right. If you find that it's not mapping correctly, just go into the offset and play around with this until you find the actual offset for your controller. There's other ways to find this out, but that's something exercise for you to look into. Uh, that's it. Hope you enjoy.